My name is Blair Gage. I'm a cell and developmental biology graduate student in the lab of Dr. Timothy Kiefer uh, up here at the Life Sciences Building at UBC. Our lab is a diabetes research lab. We're looking at type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Um, personally, I'm looking at how to make stem cells and change them into beta cells so that we can hopefully cure type 1 diabetes by transplantation. Basically, I'm interested in diabetes because my mom is a diabetic. I'm interested in type 1 diabetes because my mom has type 1 diabetes. And there's reason to think that it might be genetically inherited, so I'm probably trying to save myself a little bit too. Well, I came to this lab because I was lucky enough to do some cooperative work placements in Tim Kiefer's lab as an undergraduate. I was working with an adult stem cell population at the time, trying to do the same things that I'm doing now, but it led me to really like the lab. They had good technologies, very smart people, and just a wonderful work environment, so I thought I'd really like to continue in, the, in that system, but I had to pick a graduate program. So that's when I started seeing all the emails about the Cell and Developmental Biology program here at UBC. And what you get to do is you get to pick some courses. Now you don't get to pick all of them. There's some important courses like the How to Be a Grad Student courses. And they're interesting, but you also get to pick a bunch of courses that are your choice. In my case, I'm interested in microscopy. I also got to take some special techniques courses for things like high throughput imaging, where you're using robots to do the microscopy work for you. And that's really what my whole project and my world is based around in research, is using these technologies as fast and as accurately as we can. So the multimodal approach where you get these different vignettes, small courses, that you can pick to your own disciplines and what you want to do allowed me to take that project on. The future of this research is hopefully, since I'm working on it, there'll be exciting things happening in the next five years. The fact is there's already exciting things happening. The fields are moving ahead at breakneck speeds for stem cell research ever since we learned that we can take skin cells and turn them into embryonic stem cells. It's been amazing because it means that everybody with enough money can make their own stem cells from themselves which means you can potentially cure any disease from each individual person, given the knowledge to produce the organ that you need. So I'm here, I'm coming up on my, the end of my second year in September of this year, so I will probably be here for slightly longer than a normal grad student because I like what I do.